It's finally the pilot episode, and it's spring, so we can work on it. Yes! So folks, welcome to the pilot episode of Witty's Garage. I'm your host, Chris Wickham. Picked this back up in January. It was a hassle to get that out of the spot it was in. Gotta love that diesel. Well, if more on me would have realized to check this if it was in neutral or not, it was in gear. The little bastards had been dragging the whole way. That may have helped his situation just a smidge. All right, we're gonna put her in neutral on the way home. <laughs> and then I forgot to take it out of gear. We started taking off and So one major thing I'm noticing is I got a crack in the windshield. Looks like the hunter virus is fresh in this one, boys. That's gonna be good, you know. We decided to uh, really make use of some drag, radial drag slicks there. That, that worked out really good. But the beauty is, look at our spare. If that had blown on the highway, our spare was golden, boys. Look at that. We would have made it so far. And it's got studs. Oh my gosh, I just realized that. We would have been fine. We should have traded it out. I don't think there's any dry rot with this. But the gauges and everything, I don't know what's up with this, though. That's just, no, you don't do that on a classic. Hi, guys. It's been three weeks. I still have gotten nowhere with the truck because it's been negative seven degrees outside for the last two weeks. So, this is what we're dealing with. Same thing as before, except for all the snow is gone. I have so many goodies, especially, yeah. So, today, we're going to get started on getting rid of all of that. this lovely boot insulation still good yeah got the mirror a lot of bolts is that a, is that the manual oh oh yeah moldy completely water drenched what do we got here oh my that is a uh, yeah okay pornography book wonderful okay Let's not show any of that. Okay, we're just gonna throw that. Not for kids' eyes, not for my eyes. This is gonna be interesting. <clears throat> Open. <clears throat> Coopin'. <gasps> I got a Coopin' buck. Coopin' specials, favorite fall. Look at that. I should take this into the supermarket. Well, I got it partially cleaned. A lot of scrap there. Tailgate, which I'm still going to be replacing. And I've already almost filled that up with moss and crap. Oh, I found a muffler. 
She's, oh yeah, she's mint. We can reuse that. Glorious. Well, that certainly made a difference. It's brand new. Hot damn. You can eat off that, but I wouldn't recommend it. Still got <coughs> a bunch of <coughs> virus inside. I got one of the bastards out. It's time for number two. And three, four, five, six, a hundred. <laughs> well, we resorted to a chisel and we got pretty far, but now the problem is the little bastard still spins and that nut, that square nut, won't turn off. Can't twist the bolt, can't twist the nut. It's terrible. So, we are resulting, resorting to power tools. Liquid hot magma. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy. We just got the two rear bolts that were holding the front bench seat in. And it should be loose now. What'd you get? And then I just got two little pieces. Oh, hey. There's a mirror there. Can you watch your head? Why is the mirror just that's using right that's using your head, guy. That's using my head. Hey, there's so much room for activities. What do you think, guy? So the first yeah. bolt we cut. Oh, yeah. yeah, you did a good job. You went right through that one. <sighs> well, now you have a backyard bench. Too. <laughs> this is your chilling bench for <laughs> you might need to <coughs> get some leather polish to make it make it brand new <laughs> well y'all the ac is still good to go who needs vents up top <laughs> yeah Well, poopy pants. We got those two front ones, but the two rears back here. You can see them in the bottom right-hand corner there. They're hard to reach for one, but then the other problem is underneath, they are right next to the fuel line, as you can see. So, sparks are not gonna be our friend. Yeah, well, we finally got the little bastard. We had to sawzaw it from the top, because that was a doozy from before we had it smoking like a choo-choo train from underneath we tried to go in at four different angles and it just we thought for sure for as many times right there we would have been through but can't always can't always get it so we'll get this bench out and
Well, it was a, was a logger's truck, yeah. so. Yeah, it looks like any brand of beer was good with them. Shattered back windshield and all the rest and garbage. Certainly coming along though. Gonna get this uh, sweeped up, vacuumed, and then just hosed down. I know that's not gonna help the rust, but at least it'll rinse it, all the dust down for the moment. Well, get the rest of that glass from the back windshield when we get the tank out. So, other than that, I think this floor is clean enough to eat off of. We're doing great. Yeah. bath in 50 years. Well folks, thanks for joining me on a pilot episode of Witty's Garage. Not much that we got done over the last four months since we acquired this back in January, but uh, huge progress for me. I'm stoked. So until next time, take care. God bless. And thanks for joining us. See you next time. <laughs> okay, this is stupid. She's rusty. She's gusty. Is that even a word? I don't even know. Would you look at that? It's all the way from Germany. This is a true beer right there. It's brewed in Germany. All right. It's freaking mint. I love it.